hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here, and today we're back with something a little bit different. Now, I told you guys I would make sure to do an unboxing of this when I got it. I did get it a little bit ago, but I haven't had time to unbox it until now, so uh, sorry for the delay. Plus, you go, you know, your girl's been sick. So, with that said, did you guys know that over on Amazon, now I'm not sure about out of the country Amazon, but I know for the US Amazon, did you know that Diamond Art Club has a shop on Amazon, like a legitimate shop? Meaning you can buy some diamond paintings that have not been featured on their actual website. Um, they have like the Harry Potter series over there, uh, superhero series over there, and they also have accessories. Also some that are not listed on their actual website. Now, as we were perusing through one day, I found this. Did you know Diamond Art Club had a light pad? I didn't. And somebody actually brought it to my attention like right before Black Friday and I was like, hold up, what? what? Is that real? I thought it was a scam, but it's in their Diamond Art Club store over on Amazon. So I was like, okay, let's get it, check it out, see if it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, you know, your girl got to test it out to make sure it's worth it. Now we know Diamond Art Club is top notch when it comes to their diamond paintings, but what about their accessories? So we're going to test it out for you today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So when you open the box, it's nicely packaged, of course. We have our char we have our charger and our, our, our block for charging. So it comes with a cord. And let's take a few minutes to admire the box. One, you're getting it in that very beautiful pastel -y purple pink box with, of course, their name on it. Um, adjustable brightness, ultra thin, lightweight, USB powered. So we're going to check that out because you guys know um, I'm not usually the biggest fan of the USBs um, just because the, the casing usually comes loose and it creates a fire hazard. So when you look on the back here, it gives you instructions. And of course, you don't necessarily need instructions, but just in case, this is an A3 light pad. The cord itself is a 10 foot USB cord and it has the wall block. So that is what should be included in your box. And then of course it has your instructions. Now, light pads aren't just used for diamond painting folks. A lot of artists actually use light pads as well. So uh, they use it when they're doing like tracing work or whatnot. And so, Having a light pad is not a bad idea, uh, if, even if you're not a diamond painter. So let's see this beautiful light pad. I'm not going to lie, I almost wish that it was the colors of their box, as I am obsessed. So. Oh, okay, see? Diamond Art Club already shut my mouth wide open. Diamond Art Club's like, Miss Coffee, you know better. You you know better, ma'am. Ma'am, you know better. So first things first, I got to bring attention to this. You have stoppers on the back of your light pad. This isn't something I've seen typically in light pads. Um, usually it's just flat on the back or it might have like a little lip, lip or a leg or something. But these actually have those little rubber stoppers so that it's not sliding all over your desk and you're not playing a DJ booth. This is a thank you for your purchase card. Again, gives your instructions and all the dimensions of everything that you got going on here. So we don't need no instructions. Um, the reason I said they shut my mouth wide open, one, look how beautiful this is. Look look how beautiful this is. It has the measurements at the top. So it's an 11 by 14 or 14 by 11. I say 11 by 14, but this is why. Now, if you get a light pad, and I know not everybody's out here rolling in dough, but invest in your craft. If this is a craft that you're really invested in, and if you can spend 50 bucks on a diamond painting, Invest in a good light pad if you're look in the in the process for one. You will find all kinds of cheap light pads online, especially on Amazon. And I will tell you now, they're what you're paying for. Okay, so if you get what you pay for. And the cheap light pads are not good. They only last a few months before they break, and you need to buy a new one. And when you think about it, having to keep buying it, even though it's cheap you're eventually going to be spending what you would have spent on one on a couple of them. So why not make sure you get a decent light pad? So the light pad has this. Now, this is what I was talking about that I like when light pads have, because when you have that little USB thing that goes in the side over here, it usually tends to break. It comes apart. Your light pad starts to break over here because of the wear and tear. And every light pad I've had when I used to use light pads, Every light pad I've had only lasted about two to three months before that piece became loose and became a fire hazard, and you don't want your diamond painting to go up in smoke. So, 
get yourself a decent light pad like this one from Diamond Art Club. Now, I am not sponsored by Diamond Art Club, y'all. I just, I like their products. Anyways, so here at the top, of course, you're going to have that do what makes you sparkle at the top there. Beautiful white um, light pad. It does have a protective film on it. Now, I have a big thing about not taking this off, but for you guys, look, listen. That noise is probably driving some of y'all crazy. Y'all, it's so shiny. It's so, sh like, you can see the tree out my window through the thing here. Like, it's so shiny. I don't want to take that off. <laughs> I don't want to take it off. But, just because it protects it, and I don't, you know what? Take it off, please. All right. We took it off. There, you happy? So, super shiny. You can see my window. You can see all the stuff I got over there. <laughs> you can see my phone. Super shiny surface. Really smooth, like that. Um, now, we're going to get into this part here. And it's a light pad. It's not rocket science how you use it. You, of course, plug it in, turn it on, put your light, your your diamond painting on top of it and it helps you be able to see the symbols especially if you have especially if you have a canvas that has symbols that are a little bit blurry maybe or they're a little bit hard to see sometimes having a light underneath it will help you be able to see that so you don't have as much eye strain but do be weary not to look at a light pad for like long long periods of time like don't be sitting there at your diamond paint table with a light pad on for eight hours you're gonna damage your eyes so make sure you're taking breaks get up stretch get some water do your thing girl um so, 10 foot cord, 10 foot cord, and I'll tell you right now, I'm only six foot tall, so like 10 foot cord. This, of course, is the male end, and then you have the female end. Slides in nice and easy, no pun intended there. And then we have our charging block, and of course, you just plug that in, like so. And then we're going to plug it into the wall, which happens to be conveniently here next to me. Now, if I did have one thing about this I didn't like, it would be the fact that it has this. I'm not a big fan of the power button. I wish they had, like, the knob on the side on the cord. Just so that, uh, because I have a bad habit of pressing it with my hand by accident. And so, just to keep it from me turning it off and on by accident when I'm diamond painting or doing something, <sighs> um, I would prefer to have the little uh, thing on the cord and not so much on the light pad. But, here we go. So that is your light setting, medium, bright, and then off. And it's an easy tap, one, two, three, off. And do keep in mind, you're gonna have a diamond painting on top of this. Now, when you are looking at something like a diamond art club, you're probably gonna have it on the lowest setting. You don't necessarily need it on the highest setting just because Diamond Art Club symbols are usually pretty, like, legible. You can see them with no problem. Like, I've never had a problem seeing Diamond Art Club symbols. Now, if you're working at another company that's, like, say, from, like, a AliExpress or something, uh, no offense to AliExpress or any of its vendors, but if you have a kit from them that is kind of hard to see the symbols, or they're blurry, or they're missing, because I know I've gotten a couple of China kits where you've tried to put them down and, like, the symbols kind of, like, blend together and they look almost like they're not there... Having it on the medium setting is going to be best for you. If it's still hard to see, try the highest setting. Now, I can tell you right now, this is super bright. So, uh, the good thing about that is, you know how when you look at something that's super bright and sometimes you go to blink and you can still see the light? I can't see the light still. But I'm also not keeping it on for a long period of time and ruining my eyes. But it is a nice light pad doesn't slide easily you got to put a little force behind it so i like that i do like the cord and what i would do with this is i would just kind of wrap it up here and see what i mean like i don't like the fact that i can easily turn that on like that so i would much rather have the on off switch on the the cord itself it does have an indicator light here on the side as you can see the little blue light on that lets you know that it is plugged up let's see does it change color one nope it just stays blue But that little indicator light lets you know that there is power going to your light pad so that it is ready to use. And what I would do is I would just take that cord, running a, run it along the top of it here, and then just throw it down the side of my table because it is a pretty massively long cord. You can even stick one end of it underneath your light pad like that just to keep it from roaming around. You would put your diamond painting down and then you would get to work, get that work done. So... Overall, out of 10, I give it a 8.5 out of 10. 
it's nicely wrapped it came in a decent amount of time uh it comes from amazon so you don't have to worry about like if they have a big sale or something having to wait on it um you do have the easy button on the side but i do wish that that button was a knob on this here i also wish that there was something to wrap up the long cord with because this can be a little daunting whenever you're diamond painting and if you don't have a lot of space or if you have little children having a lot of this cord just hanging out chilling can be detrimental and i would worry about it getting tripped over or this cord being pulled out of here so it's maybe like a little casing or something or some kind of little clasp to keep it like tucked into your diamond painting while you're doing it because you have now, I know this might not be something that even exists, but you have the stoppers on the back, right? So why not have like a little clamp or something like every couple of inches on here that you can snap the cord into so it doesn't move? And then for the excess cord, that's, you know, that's on you. You got to figure out something to do with the excess cord. But I say eight and a half out of 10 just because I, I the switch. I'm not the biggest fan of the switch. I do love the fact that it is labeled, so it is branded to Diamond Art Club. I love this part that it has the female and male end to it, and they are easy to put together and take apart. So I do love this, so they get big kudos for that, but it's the button for me. I don't like the buttons on the light pads just because if you, like, like you see, I'm resting my hand on it right now. If I was diamond painting and I stopped diamond painting to talk to somebody and I go to hit it, I'm gonna hit that on all the time. If I had a little knob, that was say on my cord that I could turn off and on and adjust it that way. Um, it would make it a lot more easy or a lot more easy. It would make it a lot more convenient to have it on the cord instead of on the light pad. But I have to say for this being their first light pad, I do really like it. It's a decent size, so it's not little. It's a decent size. And if you know anything about Diamond Art Club, their, their usual size is like 56 by 71 or something like that. So they're usually pretty decent di sized diamond paintings. So having something like this is going to cover you when you have a small kit, a medium kit, even a larger kit, because you can only work on such a area at a time. Um, so... I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten. Um just because this I wish was up here. And other than that, you know what? No, we're gonna do nine. We're gonna do nine because I only have one problem with it. It's just this. Um I do worry about this cord eventually and possibly getting ripped out of here. I'm not sure how strong that is, but having a 10-foot cord makes it a little bit more convenient for those who don't necessarily have a space next to an outlet so you have room to run the cord but just be careful of people because I know I have little ones and they are constantly chippering over my cords and stuff so just be weary of your cord because it is a 10 foot cord to give you that extra space to be able to plug it in but you're also running the risk of somebody possibly you know yanking at it or whatever if you have tiny humans or tiny dogs so with that said if you did not know that Diamond Art Club had a light pad, it is over on Amazon. See, I do like that it has the three adjustable settings as well. It is over on Amazon. I will link it down in the description box of this video. Do keep in mind that I am an affiliate with Amazon. So any links that are provided from Amazon for me will be affiliate links. And I thank you in advance for using them. If you don't choose to use it, that is fine. Just go to Amazon, type in Diamond Art Club light pad. Boom, it'll pop up for you. Anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Diamond Art Club is always out here improving, and we love to see it. Um, I just... This, 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 this. <laughs> this was always a big problem for me whenever I had light pads. It's one of the reasons why I stopped using them was because I constantly talk with my hands, and I'm always hitting that because, you know, you, you don't want it too far away from you, but you want it close enough that you can see what you're doing. And whenever I go to rest my hand down, I was always turning it on. So, with that said, it's a decent size. I love the measurements on it because, again, not only diamond painters use light pads, a lot of artists use light pads as well, which might be something I use in the future. Um, I like the 10-foot cord. You just have to be weary of not having tiny humans or little dogs or whatever trip over your cord. You want to make sure that, and I like the fact that it has this switch. Now, if they do tend to pull or whatever on this cord, it should just release this, but it's still going to put a little bit of strain on this cord here. So I wish there was like a casing or something right there to keep that, like just to give me that little extra peace of mind that that's not going anywhere but it is a decently it is a decently made laptop it does not feel cheap it does not feel thin it is very lightweight um it has dog fur on it because you know i have a house with dogs in it 
there's your little indicator light even shining through the bottom there. I love the fact that it has the stoppers on it. So I can't say enough good things about this. If you would like to experience this light pad for yourself over on Amazon, description box for the link. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for always being out, looking out for us uh, crafters in this is Crafty Streets. We really appreciate you, and thank you to you for watching. Now, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this diamond or this light pad, um, my thing is, I wonder if it gets hot. And I want to say that it doesn't, because most of the time, LED lights do not get warm, because that was, I know that's going to be a question I get. Um, it doesn't feel hot to me, even having it on for the little bit of time that I have had it on. Usually, other light pads sometimes will tend to get warm. This does not feel like it's getting warm at all, and I think that's because of the LED light factor to it. So, uh, I don't think you have to worry about your light pad getting warm and, like, burning up your project or anything. But again, thank you to Diamond Art Club for always looking out for us, folks. And thank you to you for watching. Now, again, any other questions, comments, concerns, leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu, but not for reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets, y'all. Stay safe. Wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face in public because that's gross. Keep your six feet and always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. Bye guys.